Welcome, welcome to the Trinity Tech Cast episode 28, episode 28, because I'm really good at managing the episode numbers. I don't have to ever go back into the folder and look at the number from the week before. Yeah, I'm thought, perfect. Good evening to you, sir, Mr. Redbit Tech. How are you today? Yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. You know, this week here was quite eventful in terms of technology and new apps and stuff launching, you know. So, boy, yeah. boy, yeah. I had a, I had a great sleep today. It's mm. been a long time since I since I got a, a Sunday sleep where nothing has to wake me up. I wake up naturally. So from the time I reached back home from church, it yeah. was about one o'clock. Cause I had to drop some people. I had to drop my son by one of his friends. So I dropped my son, and then I came home, and I was like, "But wait, there's nothing that needs to be done. Cause mm. food, cook, everything, whatnot." So I just lie down, and I went to sleep from about one o'clock to I wake up about four o'clock, and I just calmly came off the bed like nobody had to wake me up. That's the best yeah. kind of sleep now when nothing jars you. To, to get up. I don't know, boy. I I haven't had a sleep like that in a while, like long a long time. You know, between. Cause I have a toddler in the house. Right. You know, so yeah, she yeah, was yeah. just randomly come inside <laughs> to see if it's to see if it's up or you, or you, or you know. And yeah, and then her coming inside is you just wake up. You know, she's come to see if you're sleeping. Yeah, Daddy, yeah. Daddy I is sleeping, you awake. It's like I remember, I remember. You know, those sometimes days. you just pretend you're sleeping. Yes, you that, yes. I that she will come on the bed. That's so legit. So you <laughs> close your eyes and you just you know, you hope. <laughs> That they don't poke the bear and let's be like, no, 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 no push the um, situation. But yeah, toddlers, I yeah. remember, I remember those days. But sometimes just, if it worked too, yeah. while she going outside, she'll close the door hard so you wake up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my son just got his S series out, so he passed his first choice. And so this week was. Congrats, congrats. Yeah, registration coming up. More money. Please. <laughs> oh, he- he passed for one of those schools. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> it's, a, you it's ro- a good thing. It's a, it's a yeah, blessing. It, yeah, you know, it's a when good you, thing. When you're in Rome, you had to do as the Romans do if yeah. you want if you want to get certain <laughs> things. So, yeah, so we take that. Um, today we have two major things. One of them is so major, we had to spend plenty of time talking about it, which is Meta Threads, and the next one is a major thing that's. I don't know. It's hard to dissect, but we'll try to dissect it as best as we could, which is there was a cyber attack on the Attorney General's office of Trinidad and Tobago. So we have to jump into those two. But with the meta, with the meta um, threads, we have like five links to, to check out. So <laughs> when I when I had to go through all this link management is... is um. It's tough on the copy and paste, but the clipboard, the clipboard is saving me. The clipboard is saving me. Because <laughs> without, you uh, use, use the clipboard? Like, no, nah, not really. I'm, you know, I switch between Mac and Windows, you know, so. Right, but I'm like really when you press, when you me. press Command and V, you see the list of things, and Command V on Mac? Um, yeah, you do see like the last five things that you copy? No, nah, I think so. Or it's just space? So. It must yeah. have a, no, I think it have a way where you could like show the history of things. So you could copy, 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 and then it'll just have a li- uh, list of all of the things. So I was going to just copy all five links and then just paste them in chronological order or reverse chronological order. I sure, no, you sure you don't use that? That's so productive. Nah, you are very, up. <laughs> all right, I will not, I will not judge you. Because you probably know some other shortcuts that do things way faster, and I just be clicking. Yeah, like the preview. It. How is preview preview a file on Windows? Some Alt and of, P. You know, is it on um on Mac? How? Just press press space. Just press space on the file, like when you. Yeah, yeah, that's press space. That is it. PDFs, images, videos, anything, Word document. That's press space. Okay. And you can scroll through it and. Yeah, the UD image and the video. Yeah, wow. I press in space on our file here, and nothing happens. <laughs> Alt and P, the sidebar comes up and it shows me everything. Yeah. Okay, okay. I never know that because I was had to use a Mac for um for work for 
now working the radio station as other all the music on our Mac, so as other do a lot of configuration of files and all kind of thing there. So I learned a lot about um, Mac shortcuts because I hate to do things without shortcuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shortcuts are life. So let's go into article number one, which is Meta Threads. Which one? Which one's the first one you want to? Know, I I just go into them in the order that I send them, yeah. right? I mean, so, first off, you know, we could probably talk about threads and what it is, you know. More or less Zuckerberg's answer to um, Elon Musk in terms of, of um, launching and developing a, a, a Twitter competitor. You know, and again, with all you, the, I don't know what to say, all the craziness that has been going on over the past couple of months. And then last week with the, with the whole um, limiting our tweets, I think like this week was one of the most ideal times to launch that competitor you know people was disgruntled you know it had a whole confusion and then sucks so, so launch it all right so um there was a there was an app called threads before yeah yeah I which think, was a snapchat competitor was, yeah, yeah yeah right um instagram threads snapchat um competitor which was in when that was right. I think 2021 is when 2019. Yeah, so it's in 2019. Yeah. So I'll go on. I'll, I'll share that one first, right? Watch this one, right? So this was the original threads, and this is the logo that they had. And it was supposed to promote sharing your status, location, and more information about your closest friends. Essentially, what Snapchat used to do because Snapchat was able to share your location because they used to get issues with it. This is an article from 2019 on the same verge. And it tells you that it was trying to do this, and it was the stories version of of that they ended up integrating into Instagram, right? Yeah, because they integrated stories in Instagram a long time ago, that was before twenty nineteen, I believe. What it was trying to do in this thread thing, boy, um, a new message app from Facebook. It's Blah, 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 to share information with close friends and sharing and, yeah, right. So they had threads in 2019, and it didn't do well at all, right? So they killed it in 2021, as you said. And now, opportunity has, what's the, um, what's the saying that they have, boy? Uh, when opportunity meets something or um, time meets opportunity or business is something... Yeah, um, I mean, it was all is all about him capitalizing the kind of the storm that Elon Musk are going over on Twitter. Right, luck is what happens when preparation meets opportunity, and <laughs> I think Meta is lucky. Yeah, yeah. Cause I mean, this if you look at interviews Mark has been given over the past couple of months or years. It has been in the works, you know, because he was teasing. He said, yeah, we're working on something. Yeah. You know, Twitter never really turned out how he envisioned it. You know, and I think he even tried to buy Twitter from Jack, Jack Dorsey yeah, a couple yeah. years ago. You know, because, yeah. you know, well, as people, the time memes going around, he's trying to be Thanos and collect all the, um, <laughs> the, the social media. <laughs> yeah. You know, as the Infinity Stones, you know, you have... You know, and people's like, all right, my, you do yeah. Twitter, what next? That is one of you know, we'll get to the big problem yeah. just now that I have with it about this monopoly thing. But so you install it, and one of the first articles that we have here is um, Threads isn't for news and politics, says Instagram boss. And in comparison to Twitter, Twitter yeah. is extremely focused on news and politics and current events and whatnot, right? But they're saying here, that Instagram's new thread apps is not going to do anything to encourage politics and hard news, says Instagram boss. Um, he says in a, said in a third conversation, he says it's the additional scrutiny, negativity, and integrity risks that come with politics and hard news aren't worth the incremental engagement or revenue. They are more than enough amazing communities, sports, music, fashion, beauty, entertainment, etc., to make a vibrant platform without needing to get into politics or hard news. And that... Mm -hmm. Yeah, for me, that, yeah, yeah, he, he yeah, I get what he's saying, but again, you could look at it on the flip side, that, that bordering on having a, a highly curated and censored um, timeline. Because if you only want, as, because I think in that same article, you say he wanted to be 
don't want it to be a place where angry conversations happen, you know? So it's like, yeah, but at the same time, people need to have difficult conversations. They can't just sprinkle it and have it be just a happy place, you know? Because it's like, yeah. The goal isn't to replace Twitter. The goal is to create a public square for communities on Instagram that never really embrace Twitter and for communities on Twitter and other platforms that are interested in less in a less angry place for conversations, but not all of Twitter. So that that yeah. tell, I feel I'm undisconnected a little bit with I, do, I don't think he disconnected, you know. I uh, think it calculated. I think the adverti- advertisers probably don't really like that. Advertisers don't want to see the conflict. Advertisers like the whole happy, happy-go-lucky thing. And, you know, because when my experience when first joining Treads, it, it first out first to begin, it, do, it doesn't have a chronological feed. And it doesn't have a, a feed where you, only could, where you could only see people that you follow. Right? The oh. algorithm just pushing well, everything yeah, at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And in the, in the beginning and even now, is mostly influencers and people who kind of popular posting memes and stuff, right? Yeah. So it's like a lot of that getting pushed at you. Influencers, memes, sports. So advertisers, but, advertisers mm. will get a lot of visibility if the focus is on that and not on people, you know, conversing and having discussions. And you know, advertise. You can't really monetize that. You can monetize the other stuff. You know, well, so that he's saying it, that he's saying that why I say why I say he disconnected is because people use online web 2.0 to vent and say whatever they feel like and have no consequences. And what he's trying to do is to try to to guide people along a path of more consumeristic, basically Instagram in words. Basically, yeah. Instagram and news. Because yep. politics and stuff do do well on Instagram. CNN and all them places, them followers mm-hmm. on them, followers on CNN page, way less than your top model or whoever it is. And if you're trying to to create that brand now, is an Instagram text clone. 